in the spirit realm. Uh, hallelujah, you better break up the ground and go in, hallelujah, to a dry place uh, and saturate it uh, with the anointing of the living God. Yeah. Amen? So the woman of God, she pressed, hallelujah, she pressed. And she pumped and she pried it until we got some breakthrough uh, up in here, up in here. And I'm just so grateful, hallelujah, that I was able to get my personal praise on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I know I just see, I didn't have people come to see me. They sit there, they won't move. Come you know on, what I'm saying? They be like, I'm the, you know, I'm the guest speaker. I can't, I can't bust a move to get my praise on. Matter of fact, they don't even come in for the praise of worship. They come in after the praise of worship. But yeah, I, I don't know what y'all went through. See, just in December, the enemy tried to snatch my life away. Uh, they said on two nights that I would not live to see the next day. Uh, here, hallelujah, by the grace of God. See, you know, when you get your own up and close and personal miracle, yes. Amen. when you know that you know that God has spared your life and he has moved mightily upon you, that, that, that change, that take your praise to another level. It take your faith to another level. Amen. Amen. I'm really grateful for the thing. Hallelujah. So I decided to roll with it. Amen. There shall be glory mm -hmm. after this. Y'all ready for a word from the Lord? Yes. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, who yes. is the Christ, Lord, I come before you, Father, as humbly as I know how. Lord, I ask right now, in the name of Jesus, that you remove me. Father, fill me up with your Holy Ghost again, with a fresh anointing, Father. Lord, let the people of God receive a word from the throne room. Lord, those that have an ear, let them hear. Lord, let them begin to see in the Spirit what thus said the Lord, and let them leave this place with the glory of God resting upon them in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you uh, would turn in your Bibles to Romans 8 and 18. Hallelujah. That is the text. That is the theme. Hallelujah. And I'm praying that it would drive all the way home for you on today. Yes. When you have it, stand to your feet. Amen. 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 Romans 8 and 18 says, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared. Somebody say, not worthy. Not worthy. To be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Yeah. Amen? Amen? You may be seated. Yes. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Yeah. Woo, Jesus. Yes. Is it all right if I take my time? Please take, it. Please take Please. your time. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm a slow walking. I'm going to let the Holy Ghost do what the Holy Ghost do. But I'm going to give it to you the way God gave it to me. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeshua, my son, daddy, can't Glory, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. There shall be glory after this. Yes. Come on, amen. Somebody said, what is glory? Hallelujah. hallelujah. What is glory? Webster defines glory as magnificence, uh -huh. splendor, mm -hmm. fame, uh -huh. prestige, yeah. and honor. Uh -huh. amen? amen? Let me say it again. Magnificence Splendor, uh -huh. fame, uh -huh. prestige, and honor. Yeah. Someone came here today because they need an impartation of the power, hallelujah, hallelujah. to see the manifestation yes. of the glory of God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How many of you need an impartation? Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to need an impartation on today. I hope you came here to receive an impartation of the power to see a manifestation of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Woo, Jesus. Many of us use the phrase.
to God be the glory when we're blessed. Hallelujah. And there is an outward manifestation of the glory. And you know, something happened, you said, well, to God be the glory. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. God be the glory. So I, I thought about that and I said, well, I, I, I would dare to say, uh, that's so funny, we're talking about the um, Bentley on the way here from the airport. And, and I, you know, I, I, I don't say this to be, uh, to brag or boast, but when I thought about the uh, outward manifestation of the glory of, the God, of God in my life, that was one of the things that came to mind. I would dare to say when I bought the Bentley last year that to see me riding in my dream car is a manifestation of the glory of God. Uh -huh. And somebody said, well, why would you say that? Well, the Bentley is magnificent. It's splendorous. It's, you know, famous. It's well known. It signifies prestige and honor. I just told you that glory is what? Magnificent. magnificent. Hallelujah. It's splendorous. Glory to God. It's magnificent. And, and it, 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 um, it, it also, um, you know, comes with honor. So when people see you riding in the Bentley, they go, like, oh, wow, that's bad. Look at that. Ooh, I want one of those. And, and that's one of the first, the main things that people say to me. Uh, I want to be like you when I grow up. You know, when I pull up in the building, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, you know how it looks, right? Well, so when I roll up in the building, they be like, wow. I want to be like you when I grow up. And I tell them you want to grow up in God, and you can. Grow up in God, and you can. Amen? Because the God I serve is no respect or person. Anything he did for me, he can do for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. But there's always a prerequisite to the blessing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I ain't going to get ahead of myself. Uh, hallelujah. But I, I want you to know there's just some things that you're going to have to do. Uh, hallelujah. As you begin your uh, climb to maturity in Christ. Yes. Amen? Yes. See, when we're infants in Christ, baby Christians, uh, we're still carnal-minded. Amen? So when I was a child, I acted like a child. I spake as a child. I did childish things. I was still on milk. But at some point, we need to grow up and die. Amen. Amen? Amen. We can come to maturity as we cross over from glory to glory. Y'all yes. said there should be glory after this. Amen? So we, we're going to have to move on into maturity. And, and so we're going to have to come out of the things of the world. Huh? Glory to God. We're going to have to begin to walk like uh, sons and daughters of God if we want to see the glory of God. Amen? Amen? So the Lord told me on today, he said prophesy. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, God. oh yeah, y'all want a prophetic word. Huh? Hallelujah, but I'm going to use the word of God to prophesy to you on today. Because how many of you know the word of God is prophetic in itself? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He told me to prophesy to you and tell you that the promises of your inheritance are about to manifest in your life. The Lord told me to tell you on today, man of God, that he's about to do a suddenly in your life. He's going to catapult you into your destiny. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Is somebody ready for a sudden move of God? Ooh, Jesus. Hallelujah. He also told me to tell somebody that your days of waiting are over. Hallelujah, I'm 
don't know about you. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I waited on that Bentley. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, every time I went to L.A. Uh, and I pulled up at the lot. Uh, and there was a Bentley. Uh, a Rolls Royce. Uh, a Maserati. Uh, I said, I know uh, my turn is coming. Uh, because the Lord told me uh, that I could have it. Uh, the babies prophesied. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, with the dance. Uh, they said, reach up and get it. Uh,
prayers will not wait. They will not tarry. But they shall manifest. And there shall be glory after this. Glory! After this is that husband or that wife that just won't go to church. There shall be glory after this. 
Come on, come on. See that situation you're dealing with. Hallelujah. Somebody in here know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. You just can't see. You can't see your way out. You can't see your kids' way out. Whatever they face. Whatever they done did. Whatever they didn't do. Oh! 
Glory, glory. The heart will uncover the magnificence in you. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I got off the drugs, hallelujah. I, I already had my business. Hallelujah. I just wasn't doing good business. Glory to God. But it seemed like soon as, hallelujah, the Lord delivered me from the drugs. Glorified. He's giving you a vision. Yes. Hallelujah. But the 
That's good. Hallelujah. That's good. I'm apostle. teaching and I'm preaching on today. Amen. In the book of Deuteronomy 8 and 18, hallelujah, and all up and down through there, hallelujah. But the main thing he said, he said, I, but, hallelujah, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. Somebody say, remember God. Remember God. For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. I'm trying to tell you, see, your mind don't know the difference between reality and fantasy. So if you think on that thing, hallelujah, if you see that thing, if that thing is constantly on your mind, your mind will begin to believe that it is a reality in your life. What I'm trying to say is that the glory shall be revealed when you begin, hallelujah, to meditate on it. That's good. That's good. Hallelujah. I give y'all some keys. Hallelujah. See, God has painted a clear visual picture for what your life will look like when you reach the promised land, yeah. the place where the glory of God is manifested in your life. How many of you want to go to the place where the glory of God is manifested in your life?
might say there should be glory after this. Mm-hmm. All right. 
This is my foundational life scripture. This is my personal uh, foundational life scripture. Uh, because when I came into recovery, uh, hallelujah, uh, they told me I had to change uh, the old people, places, and things. Uh, and the word of God says, uh, blessed is the man uh, that walked in not uh, in the council uh, of the unjust.
got to get your relationship back in right standing. Or maybe you tuned in on the internet and you don't even know Jesus. Hallelujah. You just heard about Pastor Weed Master. Hallelujah. But I'm here today to tell you that Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want a life in Christ that's glorified, then you need to come to Jesus right now. And you can come just as you are. Hallelujah. See, I was raised up in the church. My mama was holiness, Pentecostal. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I was rebellious. I went out in the world and I got what my hand called for. But how many of you know that when you train a child up in the way that they should go, Amen. when you're old, they're going to pop come. Hallelujah. My mama gone on the glory, but her prayers are still, they're perpetual. Amen. Hallelujah. They're still being manifested in my life and in the life of my children. And I pray that you receive an impartation of that power and that glory on tonight. Amen. Amen. God bless you.
You know the sheep is one of the most defensive animals out there. Best. Sheep is one of the most defensive, defensive animals out there. And I used to ask God, why? Why, God? I'm a warrior. I'm not a sheep. God said, you're not a sheep because you can't defend yourself. You're a sheep because I'm a shepherd. And I need you to look to me for your help. I know what's better, amen? Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for our children. Thank God for the word of God. Was that an awesome word? Was that an awesome word? I, I, I thank God that she had grown, that she was patient, and that she delivered the word. There shall be glory after this. I'm praying, I'm praying that God is searching, searching us all, and that He is going to do something in the lives of everyone. Amen. Bless Lord. Hallelujah. Lord.